What's going on everybody? Alex here, Nickens Lawn and Landscape. And today is the day we're sharing our 2018 lawn care setup. Now enough for the intro, let's check this truck out. Oh, for the moment we've all been waiting for, what's inside this bad boy? Hop up here, I guess first we'll start with the gate. Okay, so we had, when we bought this truck, you guys saw the first video if you're new to the channel go back check out the first video on this truck uh, when we picked it up but you can see we got a wrap we put on some wheel simulators which are I've had a lot of people ask me what wheel simulators are they're basically commercial hubcaps they're metal but they make your old steel nasty looking wheels look brand new for pretty cheap you don't have to buy actual new wheels we just went to a tire shop because we didn't have the size socket that we needed um, to get the wheels off, but we just went to a tire shop. They put them on for us for like 75 bucks. And then this gate was obviously not on here when we bought the truck. We had this custom made by a buddy of mine, Wolf Fab in Freeburg, Illinois. If you guys are anywhere close, this thing is money. Very, very heavy built. The frame is made out of channel, just like your trailer is. We got some stake pockets. We're gonna put some wood sides on here eventually. Um, that was kind of a priority at first and not so much anymore. He cut this out with his machine. Pretty sweet. That's all metal, I need to paint it a cool color. We put a two inch receiver in the back of here in case we ever wanna pull a small trailer. We hooked it up with all the lift assist springs, like your heavy duty skid loader trailers have. Um, and it's got the cutouts, you can see the lights up under there. Two on that side, two on that side. Very, very heavy duty gate. No, no corners cut on this one. And then to open it up, this side's actually open right now. But basically, got that slot there. That slides down into place. Give a little nudge on the trailer. I'm not gonna be able to do this while I show it, but basically you push on the trailer a little bit. Pull that pin up and twist it. So it's like this when it comes up and then we twist it like that. So whenever we drop the ramp, the pin doesn't slide out. Do the same thing on this side. Here, I'll show you guys. So this is how it works. Up and turn it. And now the ramp's ready to go down. And I literally just let go of it from the full position and it does not hit the ground. It's pretty nice. Alright, so now for what's actually in the trailer. We start out here with the blowers. Obviously, we got them on the green touch racks. I would not go any other way. I have used the other brand on the market that everyone knows about, the Equipment Defender. And I'm not gonna lie guys, these are much, 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 much better 
They're so small. Look at this. You can't see a gap between the trailer wall and the blower. And when you have a narrow box like this, I think this box is seven and a half feet wide, something like that. So when you have a narrow box, you can see right here. You don't have much spare room and these are 52 inch mowers. So if you're running 61 inch mowers, you'd have to get that bottom blower up in the air. We like it like this, like both of them to be at the back, easy access. Um, and then obviously we're running the steel BR700s. I'm a huge believer in the steels. A lot of people don't like them. A lot of people talk up the Red Maxes, but I've been running steel since day one in my business and I have no issues. Uh, moving on from that, we have this rack up here, which was recommended to me by Kevin with Fall River Lawn Care. The Pit Posse, I think I got this guy off Amazon for like 30 bucks. And it's got, the only issue we've had with it is this, this contraption right here. You're supposed to be able to put a, uh, a roll of paper towels up under there or whatever and it doesn't really roll off very good. But generally we'll have that sitting there and then up in there. I don't know if there's any in there right now, it might be empty. Yeah, looks like we need to throw some in there, but that's where we keep our steel oils. And then up here, this is a mess. We've been running heavy with this all year. Haven't really cleaned it out too much, um, but we got just all the general general tools. Uh, yard sign, that's, yeah, that's old. That was pulled out of one of the yards we maintain. Um, air tank, flat tire. We got these pads right here. These are the weed pulling pads or anything on your knees, really. I mean, we use them for doing our paver projects and everything. They're pretty thick. I mean, you can see, see my finger there. They're, they're pretty thick. I think we got them at Lowe's. But if you're doing stuff, pulling weeds, getting on your hands and knees, those are the way to go. Uh, we got some gloves in there. Got some loppers. We got some sockets, our tool set. We got some, I think those are, yeah, we got some reflectors. Um, fire extinguisher, jumper cables. More miscellaneous tools. I think there's a bunch of steel gear in that bucket over there. And I think there's rags in that bag. Uh, chainsaw, hedge trimmer, which models are those? The hedge trimmer I think is a 40, 46, HS 46C. Chainsaw, we got the uh, MS 250 in here I think. Yes, the 250. Got a 170 that we use a lot too, uh, just not in here time being. And then up here, we got bulky inner tubes right there, a couple sets of blades, um, a broken grass flap cable. Leave me a comment if you have had a broken grass flap cable. I'm gonna have more comments on this video than any video I've ever posted because those things, honestly, they suck. They need to come out with a new cable because we're breaking those things constantly and they're 40 bucks. And in here, I'm gonna be able to get the camera in there, but that's all kinds of miscellaneous little stuff and a tire patch kit. Most valuable thing to have in your trailer right there. Run over a nail or screw, patch it up, get on down the road. Trimmers, we've only got two. Those of you guys that have been following us on Instagram, you know we cut back on some of our mowing. So we've gotten rid of a couple things. We got rid of a trimmer and we took the edger out of here because we never use it. We're not really taking on any new lawn care customers, uh, just taking care of what we got. So we've got the uh, green touch rack, obviously. Old Faithful, we've had this thing forever. Still holding up strong. I think we've had it for four years now. And then we've got two of the FS94Rs. Again, I've heard people talk crap on these 94Rs, honestly. I don't know what they're talking about. I had a carb go bad on one of them that was replaced under warranty. And then I've had the spark arrestor, which happens on every weed eater I've ever had. So if you're having issues with yours running, take that spark arrestor out, clean it up, put it back in. You should be in good shape. But those have been awesome. These are, I think, number four and five of the 94s that I bought. The first one I ever bought, uh, I think, fell off a trailer. Either fell off a trailer or got lost, um, got left at a property, still not quite sure, but I got home and that was gone. So I had bought two more. Those were stolen last year. If you saw my video, my trailer got broken into and they stole both my weed ears. 
So I had to go buy two more and here they are. So these were new last year as of 17, about midsummer 17. So uh, they've been treating me real good. Had no complaints on those. Got my steel muffs. I wear those sometimes, but I usually just wear my straw hat and listen to some music or podcasts. And then uh, here I got the trimmer line. We just were using the Vortex line. The, uh, I think it's, I want to say Red Max. Um, it's red line. It's like the twisted stuff. We'd used that for the previous spool, and I literally just bought this um, yesterday. And I don't know why I went back to this. I just did. I, it really, it makes a difference, but it doesn't. I mean, it's all aligned. It is what it is, and that was the closest option for us. So that's just what I went with. But I'm not too particular on weed eater string. Uh, down here, we got some no spill cans. I honestly believe in those. They're a little bit more expensive than a regular gas can, but when you're filling up these small engines all day or at least at least once a day usually usually twice a day when we're out and about um, chainsaws hedge trimmers all that kind of good stuff too it is so easy to use these cans and you don't have to worry about spilling stuff it truly does make it a lot easier um, and i've got one of the five gallon no spills that one is in a green touch rack i like that that rack's nice uh, similar to my, what i made here with the wood um, but that one has a little more uh, back support and if you have that in an open trailer, it's got a lockable, where is it at here? If I can get it out, we don't use it because it's not going anywhere in here. Ugh. Well, I can't get it out, but anyway, there's a piece back there that you can slide through here and it'll go through the handle of your gas can and you can lock it on the other side. So if you're leaving your trailer out overnight, um, and I think it's the same thing for the small ones where it's got a handle that goes across the top, the green touch one does. So uh, if you got an open trailer, those are probably a little bit more important. Those of you guys that have enclosed, um, you can usually come up with something uh, pretty, pretty cheap and uh, pretty quickly. Um, and then for the mowers, the most important part, you guys know we have the Z2 Ferris Beast. Those of you guys that don't know about these, you need to get in the know. These things are legit. Time saving, efficient little guys. I'm telling you what, I bought this one last year and it's got, well, what is that, 549 hours on it. So I just did my 500 hour review video. If you didn't see that, check it out. But these things are the cats behind. They really are, they really are the real deal. Um, and for the price, you can't really beat it. And then right here, we've got the FW35 Old Faithful Walk Behind. 52 inch as well. I don't know if I said that one is a 52. Um, both of them have Kawasaki engines. This one has the FX651 and this one has the FX801 so standard's got a little bit bigger engine but this walk behind we value very very much there's no way we can do some of our properties without it we have some uh, pretty extreme hills those of you guys that are followers on Instagram you know those hills you've seen them um, I think we even did a YouTube video on one of them so uh, like I said this is very very valuable piece of equipment for us can't really do what we do without it and then on the back of there we got a right X2 Velky. Oh, we got a grass flap on that guy too. So both mowers pretty oh I don't know if we said about I mentioned the cables breaking non-stop, but we got grass flaps on both of these mowers and they really are awesome. I mean I love them, but the cables just break so fast. But this is the pedal basically. So I'm standing up here, I'm mowing along, and I literally take my heel and push down. It closes and opens the flap. Close it. Open it. Open it. Close it. Open it. That's simple. So if you're using a hand operated flap, you should probably check out the grass flapping on this. Walk behind is the same way. Right there you've got your foot pedal. And it opens and closes the flap. So no more stopping or slowing down to close your chute blocker. It's pretty simple. And I do complain about the cables breaking. But as you can see from that foot pedal, this thing's been pretty 
pretty used. It's even starting to get a little rust on the top of there. So I think we've had this one on the Z2. Well, no, we bought it whenever we bought this thing. So 500 hours on that one. And I think we've broken four cables. So a cable every 100 hours and they're 40 bucks a piece. So it's not something that's gonna kill you, but I mean, it's more expensive than an oil change. So that's kind of kind of crazy, but uh, hopefully they'll they'll get on the ball on that. And then we've got our Hartman Farm Supply trash bags. If you guys are from the area and you're running Ferris mowers, you need to check out Hartman. These guys will take care of you straight up. I've literally went in there with a broke down part and they will literally pull a brand new mower off of their front line, their front line of all the new mowers. They'll pull it in the back, pop the spring off, put it on my mower and told me to get out of there, get back to mowing. So customer service doesn't really get much better than that in my opinion. So I'm gonna stick with those guys. I'm gonna stick with Ferris. I love their products. I endorse them fully. I've been doing this for six years and I've used pretty much every major mower brand. I've used Skag, Xmark, John Deere, Right Stander, um, and Ferris obviously, but somehow, some way, I always come back to Ferris. I've branched out numerous times, pretty much all those where, oh, I'm gonna try this different brand, branch out a little bit, and here I come right back to Ferris. So this time, I think I'm gonna stay, I'm gonna save my time and save my money and, and uh, stay with Ferris, see what they come out with next. The Z2 is pretty cool, so uh, their next one hopefully will be too. Now they have the Z3X, which I demoed, but we don't run 61 inch mowers. So that one's really no good to us. So the next cool 52, we'll have to check it out. comes to filling up your weed eaters and your blowers, it doesn't get any easier than this. Filled with the no spill. That's a no no. But it happens. A little that fast. You want to go over to the blowers? Just like that, everything's gassed up. Well, that's about it for this year's setup, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought. Coming up in one of our next videos will be our landscaping setup. As always, guys, I appreciate the support, whether it's on here, Facebook, or Instagram, it all means a lot. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.